Hey guys, welcome back. Ashley D. Will here, author, teacher, life coach. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today our topic is a very serious one and it's about the judgment of God. And the name of it is Judgment Falls Hard. Judgment Falls Hard. So when God's judgment falls, sometimes it can feel like a lead ton of bricks that comes down and it shakes things up and so the Holy Spirit is been very active around the world in the nation here in our home town of Atlanta but he has been exposing all over the world especially in the body of Christ and that is his job right he reveals all truth in order to reveal all truth, the truth must be uncovered when it is hidden or covered up. It has to be exposed. That's how you expose and reveal all truth. You have to uncover it. All right? So that's kind of a no-brainer. But I want to look at a few scriptures and talk about God's judgment and maybe gain a little bit more insight about what is happening in today's world than we had before. So one thing about God's judgment is that many times it can be swift and certain and precise. This word here, the precision of God's judgment can be, it can shake you up. It can cause you to have the fear of God, the fear of the Lord when you never had that before. Okay, so God's judgment can often be swift and certain and precise. Okay, so let's look at Acts 17.30. It says, although God overlooked the ignorance of earlier times, he now commands all people everywhere to repent, especially leaders, Christian leaders, Christian small group leaders, Christian church leaders, Christian uh, company leaders, all kinds of leaders in the faith um, are called to repent of their evil ways. And this word sounds very old-fashioned, but it basically means to just turn around and go the other way. And what that means is you have been living your life your life with what you think and how you want things to be and you had your agenda and you had your ego and you had your plans so repentance means t turning from that to the Lord for his plans for his ideas for his agenda for his plan for your life that is repentance okay so you want to turn around from chasing the wind to the living risen Christ who provides everything and protects you and all the rest. So that's what repentance means there. So although God overlooked the ignorance, he overlooked the ignorance of earlier times, now is a different time from those earlier times. Now he commands, he's not asking, he's not requesting, he's not inviting, he's commanding all people everywhere to repent. Turn from worthless things and turn to him. He's the Savior. He's the Creator. He is where you want to be. So, another point that I mentioned before is that how the exposure has been happening around the world and the country and in Atlanta. Well, exposure has happened. We have seen this. It's been in the news. It's been in many avenues of communication depending on what you're exposed to but the exposure has been happening I want to point out that not undermining but exposure has happened okay exposure is what has been going on exposure that means remember revealing the hidden things uncovering the hidden things not undermining. The Holy Spirit never undermines people. He will expose though. That is his job to reveal the truth. Okay? So the Holy Spirit never undermines people. 
when they cover and hide themselves as a practice, but he exposes them. He exposes them. In James, it talks about how God resists the proud. He will frustrate and humiliate and resist the proud. But the Holy Spirit doesn't undermine. He exposes, okay? So even when people are covering and hiding themselves as a practice, he will expose them. Eventually, after a lot of grace, after a lot of opportunities, to repent after a lot of opportunities to move to a better place after all those are refused without genuine repentance God's judgment ensues okay without genuine repentance God's judgment ensues that means you are sitting in the middle of a interstate, cross-legged on the ground, and there aren't any cars around, but someone has told you that five miles down the road, the highway there, that a semi is coming 75 miles an hour to eventually be where you are. And you are sitting in the middle of the road saying, nope, I'm not going to budge. Nope. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Oh. And so you're sitting there while the truck is now four miles away. And then three miles away. And then two miles away. One mile away. A half a mile away. You can see him in the distance. Here he comes. A quarter mile. And soon you're a pancake in the road. Okay, that's the situation that's going on here. That's the situation that's going on. Remember, God's judgment can often be swift, certain, and extremely and eerily precise. Okay? So let's talk about some other things. Some points to remember. This can occur on a regular basis with the Lord. This is how he works, and this is these are kind of his, some of his fingerprints can be like this. When the sin over here that is refusing to be repented of, when that sin was harbored and perpetuated in public, then the judgment will be in public. Okay? This is the precision of the judgment of God. So the next point is that when the sin was harbored and perpetuated in the pulpit, then the judgment will be in the pulpit. Again, this is the precision of the judgment of God. A lot of times he will do this and he will give the judgment that reflects exact points in the sin that brought the judgment. It will have a reflection, like a mirror in some ways, okay? So that's important to remember for God's judgment. Some more points down here is there's a finality going on right now, and we're crossing a threshold into a new space and time where the Holy Spirit is going to have His way, free reign, okay? And this is for the end times harvest. But some points to take in and realize and hold to right now is that the time, remember the times he overlooked, the ignorance of earlier times, well now we're crossing over a threshold where things are going to be different. The time for falsity is over. Okay? The time for falsity, lying, deception, hiding, all of that is over. The time for pride is over. It is over. It's finished. That time is over. The time for resisting the Lord is over. Over. The time for mocking God's prophets 
is over. It's over. The time for misleading congregations is over. Completely finished. Over. The time for ego stealing the glory of God is over. The time for publicly betraying the Spirit of God is over. Over. It's finished. It is over. Okay? That we need to understand and acknowledge. Okay? One thing that is very important that we must understand is that and I've taught this on many other videos, but that God Almighty is God. He's the one true God, and He's 100% God. So God is God, and we are not. Some of us, deep in our spirits and our subconscious mind, believe that we are God, and we are living in a lie. Okay, the Lord just wants everybody to know this and it's silly for us to have to say it but we are in such a deceptive dark world that we're being lulled to sleep by lies and by spells and different things that are happening we're being lulled to sleep and we're losing reality we're losing reality so we have to say this so that the lights will go on in our hearts and minds okay the lord almighty will have his way. The Lord God Almighty will 100% have his way. And he will have his way. He will have his way. Not your way, not my way, not their way, but his way. When you're in Christ, his way is your way. So this is only gain when he says he will have his way. If you're living the self-life, if you have a big ego and all of this, you will not have your way, the way of the flesh. So it will be a loss for those who are full of themselves. But for those who are walking in the yoke with Christ, living the crucified life, this is gain because his way is our way. Okay, but the point is that the Lord wants everyone to know that he will have his way. He will have his way, period. And to me, that says, get out of the way or else. That's what that tells me. Get out of my way or else. You're going to bring things on yourself that you're going to regret. Now let's look at 1 Timothy 5.24. The sins of some are obvious, reaching the place of judgment ahead of them. The sins of some people are obvious, and those sins are reaching the place of judgment ahead of them and bringing it, accelerating it on themselves. So like, just like the truck in the road, there's judgment ahead. Are you going to stay in your stubborn place, lying and hiding? That is your choice, and you will reap what you sow. So the sins of some are obvious, reaching the place of judgment ahead of them. And then Ecclesiastes 8, verse 8 says, As no one has power over the wind to contain it, no one has power over the time or the way of their death. Just as no one has power over the wind to try to contain it and hold it and keep it in one place, no one, just the same, has power over the time of their death or the way that they die. No one in the history of humanity has ever had power over the time or the way of his own or her own death. So meditate on that and that will humble you. 
humble you to get you to understand experientially that God is God and that we are not. Okay, so this video is Judgment Falls Hard because judgment has been falling and continues to fall and will fall, continue to fall in the days ahead. So I guess this is a warning of things that are going to happen. And if you're involved in any of these situations, I pray that you will do a turnaround and come clean. So the Lord has told me to make this video and I have done it. So my job is over. Your job is to receive if you have a heart to receive, to see if you have eyes to see, and to hear if you have ears to hear. Okay, I pray God's blessing on you and that his will be done in your life. And I will see you guys in the next video.